initially, could you give us an impression if Ireland was, uh, had all of its energy coming from uh, wind, uh, what sort of area on land would be used for the windmills? Or do you think the windmills are going to be offshore rather than on land? Uh, to be honest, that wasn't kind of the area we focused on in terms of where actually things should be built. We focused on what size would be needed in order to provide that energy. But if you, if you want to take just a general outline, at the moment there's about 1,000, 1,200 megawatts of wind onshore in Ireland. And to get to a place where you're about 100% wind energy supplied, you need about 10,000 megawatts. Be that either onshore or offshore, it might vary that capacity. So you'd be talking in the region of about 10 times more than what we have from now if you want to is that, is that all of County Mayo then? Uh, well, I suppose it depends where, you, if, if you put it offshore, obviously okay. it, could be, okay. you, it could be no county, but... Okay, coming on to the issue of, of, of storage, are yeah. you talking only about uh, pumped storage for water, or are you talking about hydrogen generation, for example, as well? well? Well, what we did at the beginning was we did a review of all energy storage technologies. So we considered anything we could find. And we based what we, the, the technology we chose was based on maturity, scalability, and basically how quickly we could actually get it into Ireland. Now, originally based on scale, we narrowed it down to three, and then based on maturity, we narrowed it down to pumped hydro. But there was one key issue, and that was the location of sites. So we developed a brand new model tool that would identify where can we build these facilities. And that's the novel part of what we've done in terms sure. of that side of the work, was develop this new software tool. Yeah. And are you talking about looking at seawater pumping rather than freshwater? Uh, we focused on freshwater because at the moment there's about 90 gigawatts of pumped hydro in the world. There's only 30 megawatts of seawater-based pumped hydro. So pumped hydro is a mature technology, but seawater-based pumped hydro is relatively immature. In comparison, freshwater has been around for 100 years. Okay. So you have companies building this year in, year out. So we focused... Sure primarily on fresh water. Is it possible that Ireland might be a very suitable site for uh, seawater? Well, definitely, yeah. The, the, the Spirit of Ireland uh, proposal showed that by the scale that they were trying to propose with seawater, but we've, done, we've already completed two consultancy projects for two local authorities, and we found umpteen sites where you could build fresh water as well. Hmm. And that, that's just the first step. Obviously, there'd need to be an environmental impact statement done on those locations to identify how feasible they are, but all of them are within acceptable locations defined by the local authorities. Yeah. So. Uh, in this area, I, I was kind of very interested to hear that you said that you had four peer-reviewed publications, so congratulations yeah. Yeah. on that. Thanks. Uh, is there pressure in the type of work you're doing between trying to get the peer review publications and doing uh, work which is much closer to the marketplace? Uh, definitely, yeah, but it, it, it's kind of, I suppose, for myself, it was uh, a priority because I wanted to make sure my work was being judged by a public audience. So I, I wanted that process to be the way that I did my work because I, I suppose if you do it by thesis, you're keeping it very internal for a very long period of time. So th this was done over a number of stages. Initially, I had to develop models. I had to get feedback about how those were. I had to build upon those then based on the feedback. So it wasn't just a case of doing the whole project in one. So I needed those peer-reviewed kind of feedback to get information about how I would develop the project. Okay, so I'm going to ask you just any final comments. Uh, yeah, I would actually, yeah. At the moment, Ireland is importing 90% of its energy from abroad we could supply over 200% of the electricity we need using existing renewable technologies alone. People need to put a cost on that. There's a cost of buying Irish food. There's a cost of generating Irish energy. So I think there needs to be a complete focus on trying to put a cost on what it takes to be using your own indigenous resources. And I think people need to remember that, especially in Ireland.